Now let's meet our candidates for Vice President for Legislative Affairs. Paul Evans is a junior political science major from Montgomery, and Amber Voss is a sophomore political science major from Wetumpka. Paul, you have one minute to introduce yourself. As Bailey mentioned, my name is Paul Evans. For the past three years, I've been involved in the S SGA, and I'm extremely excited for this opportunity to run for VPLA. I've served in Freshman Forum, Senate and the Constitution and Rules Committee, Supreme Court, and the Governmental Affairs Council. Working in all these various branches in SGA for the past three years has given me a greater understanding of university policies, the SGA Constitution and Code of Laws, and Senate procedures. The VPLA presides over Senate meetings, and if I have the honor of being elected, I promise to be an informed, positive, positive leader that helps facilitate action and new programs through the Senate, action of which have substance and ensure student needs are met. My office door will always be open and the ideas of students will have top priority. I will motivate every member of SGA to get to know the constituents they represent. That way those ideas can be turned into progress. Beyond that, I can, will continue to advocate for the needs of Troy University, to the city of Troy, and also to the state legislators in Montgomery. I look forward to this debate. All right, thank you, Paul. Now, Amber, you have one minute to introduce yourself. Thank you, Bailey. As Bailey said, I'm Amber Voss, and I'm from Wetumpka, Alabama. I'm a political science major, and I'm minoring in leadership. Today, I want to talk to you to maybe get your vote for VPLA. I've served in the SGA since last year where I was a participant in the freshman forum and I served as secretary. This year I've had the honor and privilege of being the director of the Governmental Affairs Council which is new to the SGA this year and I am also the STARS Conference coordinator which is in charge of making sure the Troy students attend the Higher Education Day in Montgomery, Alabama, coming up on February 28th. I would want to be your Vice President of Legislative Affairs because I know parliamentary procedure and I love talking to people about it. I'm a government nerd and if I serve, I will show the Senate what parliamentary procedure is and have fun. Thank you. All right, thank you, Amber. Now I have two questions that each of you will have one minute to address. The first question goes to Paul. If elected, there are five Senate committees that you will be in charge of next year. Name one specific activity that you would have the Student Welfare, Welfare Committee work on next year. As an ex officio member of each uh, committee, the Student Welfare is one I'm very interested in. Uh, with all the recent events over the last two years with the uh, campus safety, I think that there needs to be a lighted walkway for all students um, so they can and, and continue the walks around campus that see where we need lights. Um, and just promote all overall welfare of the students as the committee is formed. To, to encourage these senators to get to know the people in the dorms and different colleges they represent because the senators should not only represent themselves, so they should also represent the people that are elected them to get them there. Thank you. All right, thanks, Paul. Amber, here's your chance to answer the same question. Thank you, Bailey. With the Student Welfare Committee, I would like to focus on the safety at Troy University. I do not have a car here, so I have to walk everywhere. So as Paul said, the light, lighting on campus is a big issue. In addition, I would like to get input from students and have this committee focus on branching out to other students at Troy University. And also, um, this year, the committee came up with a safety email account and implementing that even more and publicizing that through our Twitter. Thank you. All right, thank you, Amber. You get the chance to answer this question first. Academic senators should meet with their deans each semester and report to that on the Senate. And what other ways can academic senators report to their constituents? Thank you, Bailey. Other ways that they can report to their constituents is things dealing with registering for classes and also um, careers that they can get out of with their degree that they get at Troy University. Thank you. All right, thank you, Amber. Paul, the same question goes to you. I agree with Amber. They can also team up uh, with registration. And also the senators that are, um, as I alluded to in the last question, um, the senators in these different business uh, different schools of business, uh, not business, but schools like the School of Business, different colleges that they represent, they need to actually go around and ask the students in those colleges what they want to see, what they want to see progressed in academics especially, because that's what we're here for. We're here to get an education and to 
promote things that will make our degree have worth. And I think that's what the, the academic um, committee needs to focus on is making, finding ways that to, can make our degree mean more. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Paul Evans and Amber Voss, your candidates for vice president for legislative affairs.